when you got back to Romania after the Olympics mm -hmm. in 76, were you surprised that all of a sudden you were this national hero? When, when I was getting out of the plane, I saw so many pe 7,000 people at the airport came. I went back in the plane. I got scared. I didn't understand. <laughs> and your life was completely different at that point? It didn't change too much, actually, because really? uh, I went back to, uh, to the same training. We were preparing for the next competitions, it, only that there was a lot, lot of interest from television people to come and do pieces. And, but they, they were not pretty much allowed to you know, do too much because you, Romania was a communist country at that time. And a very closed Yeah, yeah. and then it, the, the borders were not open for people. There was a lot of suspicious there. And uh, yeah. probably in a way that was good for us, for me, because uh, it didn't take away the hours of training and we, we can focus on what I had to do. Do you find it funny that people tend to forget the 1980 Olympics because of what happened in, in 76? I mean, you did pretty well in 1980, too. Yes. Uh, uh, actually, people don't mention too much about the 80 Olympics. And I said, well, two gold and two silver is not that bad, I think. Some of the press at the time painted a not too flattering picture of you, that you were privileged when so many of your countrymen were almost starving. This is totally not true, because people couldn't get in to know what kind of life I have. If I had such a wonderful life with so many privileges, then why I left? I didn't want people to know that I don't have, because that's not the kind of person I, I am. I, I, don't like, I, I, I don't like when people feel sorry for me, because it's just not me. The frustration for me, pretty much, was because after I finished my career as a competitor, I, I didn't, I couldn't do, uh, I couldn't do anything professional. I would, I, like for example, I was coaching some of the gymnasts, uh, and every time where they were going to compete outside of Romania, I had no visa or an approval from the government to go anywhere out. They were afraid they would lose I never, their biggest star. I never got any explanation. Every time I was invited to go somewhere, the answer was sent, she's too busy. She mm. can do that. In 1989, when you finally decided to leave Romania, was that a spur of the moment decision or had you been planning that I didn't long? plan at all because it just happened. I didn't tell my mom. I didn't tell my father. I thought they were going to have a heart attack, so I decided not to do that. And uh, I just uh, walked during the night for from Romanian border to Hungary uh, I, for six hours in, in the middle of the winter. I had no idea where I was going. I was with some other people that I didn't know I met mm. just then. This is Nadia Comaneci having to sneak out of her own country to have a life. That's just amazing to me. Well, usually I, I, I don't, I rarely mention about this, you know, the escape. Uh, and, but occasionally I, 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 I think back and I'm, I'm like, this is unbelievable, I made it, yeah. There was a period of time when you got to the United States where it now seems that you were still in some ways a prisoner, but you were a prisoner to men, to personalities, to people who controlled your life. So you still weren't free even though you were in this country. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to go. I thought I should go back to Romania. I have nobody here who can help me uh, do something with my life. And uh, the saver was Bart. So I, I remember I called him and I, I couldn't even speak because I was, I was crying so, so bad. I have no place to go and what am I going to do? But how is it that a, a Romanian who grew up in the communist system how is it that this girl learned to trust? Uh, it took time. It took time uh, because I, I had to have the experience of letting things come outside from inside. I couldn't say immediately that I made it. It, it, it wasn't like, yes, I walk on American ground, but doesn't mean that I made it. 
But then when, when Bart came into the pictures and things started to change and turn around, then I, I felt, yeah. What was more difficult, do you think? Was, was it a bigger accomplishment to get that perfect 10, or was it a bigger accomplishment to break the chains of, of being in your own country? I think that if I compare the, the two, I think that the, the hardest thing that I've done was leaving my country. And everything that I've been through with all this escape, uh, it's, it's 76 games, it's, it's a great gymnastic result. Uh, there, there was never a death mm -hmm. <laughs> and life situation. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but this thing that I did with the escape, it, I couldn't have been here today if something would have gone wrong on the border. The surface, it seems to be a pretty good life that you made for yourself. I think it's better than pretty good. <laughs>